Hey y'all, I'm MyGCat, and today I will be playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Y'all ready? Let's go. I didn't stop him, but... I guess it's all clear. I, I did kill him. Here in the city. I think Byzantian should be hanging out in Markarth, because he has the Dwarven look going on. I feel like this is where he's meant to be. There's no good work in the Reach. The mines play dong for wages, and the farms pay even less than that. I thought I scored it big when I got a job working for a blind noble, but he fired me on account of me being a gloomy sort. He said he couldn't hear my smile. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. My ears don't have teeth. Anyway, the shot of it is, I'm tired of this life. I want some easy gold. There's an old tower south of here called Reachwin Eyrie, which looks like it's full of loot. Me and a couple of others are thinking about raiding the place and, and nabbing everything that's not bolted down. It's going to be first come, first serve. But if any of you other worthless drunks want to lend a hand, we could always use more. I'm a worthless drunk. I could lend a hand. All right, here's Reach Cliff Cave. It's close. It, oh, it's up there. Oh, man, I didn't know I'd have to do any mountain climbing. All right. I would have brought a horse if I thought I was going to do mountain climbing. Oh no, I thought I was falling through the mountain. I I'm not doing that anymore. I can't do that. There's got to be a way around. Oh man. A bear. Alright, this doesn't look too steep. I could probably get up this a ways. Okay, maybe, maybe here would be not as troublesome. Oh, that part's too steep. I don't know, I'm feeling really close to my character right now, and I don't really like it. Okay, can I... Can I climb this part? I mean, do I have to go through Reachcliff Cave? Is that the whole long and short of it? Is that I gotta do that? Will that get me up there? I can't... I cannot remember. I mean, I could go through the cave, but, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of crap in there. And I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, although I suspect it is so. I mean, how else am I supposed to get up there? I don't know. I just don't want to go in there if I don't got to. That's the one you go in with, uh, Iola. The woman who wants to eat people. Alright, here. We're here. We could get up there. That's not a problem. And I mean, I don't want to eat anybody. Not in this playthrough, anyway. Can I reach that? Okay, why do they make this thing impossible to get to? It's not like I can fly up there. Wait, what? Is there an enemy? Oh, hi! <laughs> Came up here kind of the wrong way round, but I'm here now. Ow! Ow! Are you serious? Okay. No! Nope. Leave me alone. I came to help! The letter said to come to help, not to fight. But I will fight if you want me to. Shouldn't have been by me. Hey. Ow. Yeah, block that. Hmm. What's all this? Who's this? Cassaval from the Crimson Dirks. Wait, you know what? Cassaval is their mage. I think I think in the last video I said Palandius is, but I believe Cassaval is their mage. Or they might have multiple mages, but Cassaval is a mage, I believe. Oh, look, you just have this dwarven plate armor just sitting here by you. I guess I'll take it. Thank you for that. What did you have on you? An apple pie? I'll take that. Some gold, a lockpick. Crimson Dirks Volume 9. See, I knew that there was more than, what was it, eight volumes, I think he said? I knew it. The Crimson Dirks, Book 9, by Gathers the Coin. Tyra had forgotten which heist was her favorite. Perhaps it was the first time they stole a wagon's worth of silks from the desert palaces of Dune. Dune? Maybe it was when they burrowed a tunnel into the warehouse of the East Empire Company, siphoning crate after crate while the warden stood mindlessly at the door. Or it could be she preferred the more violent raids, like the sacking of the Argonian supply caravans, 
or the attacks on cargo ships leaving the Imperial City waterfront. Or perhaps, if she looked back enough, her fondest memories would find her in the streets of Belmora. Oh, Belmora! Robbing travelers at knife point. For some reason, it was this version of her, this long forgotten stranger, that seemed the most vivid now. Gone was the refined, thoughtful countenance of a leader, and in its place, a hungry, ash-hewn child who had far more courage than sense. So, is Tyra Dunmer? She might be. And as she closed her eyes, she could still feel the smooth, polished surface of the ruby the noble dropped in her palm, and how it felt like nothing of this world. Yet it was not the price, or the feel, or the color of the ruby that she remembered most. The blades of crimson burned into the glass, like the fire of the Red Mountain. Why do you think it is, she asked Azriel, that our thoughts turn to the past when our lives are so close to death? I suppose it's because it's pointless for a dead man to look forward, replied the bandit, his Altmer frame filling the breath of her doorway. I take it you didn't summon me to talk about old times. Ethliel says the guard knows about the hideout. They plan to raid the place in three days. So they will, Azriel replied, his face unflinching. What of the spoils? We can't take it with us, Tyra lamented, but I'll be damned if I let them have it. We give what we can to the beggars and toss the rest into the bay before we leave. As you wish, said the High Elf. And where will you go? Our best chance is Noth, Tyra said, tracing her dagger up the map. The Jarls are fractured. It's only a matter of time before the whole Providence is at war. But we'll have to move in small groups and find our own way once we cross the border. No contact. Tyra knew Azriel would take the news better than the rest. While Berjorman, Skjol, and Palandius were the muscle, they always made an effort to bond with the group. The High Elf, on the other hand, never felt at ease with the other bandits. If this were any other business, perhaps she would have tried to reach him, but tenderness was not a virtue for killers and thieves. Azriel nodded and took his leave, leaving Tyra alone in the quiet. If this exchange taught her anything, she still needed a moment before telling the others. She had always been an expert in masking her emotions, but the sadness wore plainly on her face. Perhaps this situation called for that girl from Balmara, and not the weary woman who sat in her stead. Stealing herself, Tyra placed the dirk and the ruby in her pocket and stepped away from the map. They would head for the border tomorrow, leaving behind much of their past, but the future was still unwritten. So that's why they call them the Crimson Dirks. The Ruby, Crimson, and the Dirk. This is nice. All right, let's read his note. Over the course of his life, a man wears many faces and goes by many names. Son, father, fugitive, bandit. I never thought I would include Argonian writer among these titles, but so it goes. When Palandius taught me how to write, I didn't think I'd take it the way I have. Maybe, if the gods had given me a pen instead of a sword, I'd spent my life writing books instead of sacking caravans. Well, too late to whine about it now. As for the name, it came from a conversation I had with Pale Eyes one night at the Greymire in Carole. I asked him why Argonian's names were so literal, and he said, why aren't yours? I laughed, realizing I was bested. So I asked him to give me an Argonian name, one that suited someone of my ilk. And so, from then on, I was gathers the coin. I ran into the writer. Was it Cassival? The funny thing about an Argonian name is, I wasn't sure if it was meant to define the person I was or the person I aspired to be. I suppose the point is moot now. I'll probably die in this tower without a septum to my name, but at least if I keep writing, people will know our story and know that we once lived. Cassival wrote the Crimson Dirks. Not even the Crimson Dirks knew it was him. Oh, Cassival, you died. That's why he has the ninth book. That's why he has the final book, because he is the, he's the author. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I found the author. Oh, Cassival. I hate that you died, though. Oh, thank you. I really like the Dwarven Plate. I already had a set of Dwarven Plate. 
I feel like Mazanchin is a heavy armor user, so I'm gonna keep it on him. But the helm and the gauntlets are still the dwarven mail, and the dwarven mail is light armor. So I still need to get him a dwarven helm and gauntlets that are considered heavy armor. He looks good though, I like him. I really hope that there's more Crimson Jerk stuff because now I want to see Tyra. I'm probably going to have to fight her immediately though. <sighs> I love the Crimson Jerks. I just, I wish they were like joinable. I wish there was more to their story. I wish they could talk to me, you know? I wish they had dialogue. That'd be great. But now I know the origin of their name. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't be afraid to like the video. Bye y'all.